Yeah, let me stop this. Almost two hours. Yikes, that's okay. scary. But we did do breaks. <laughs> you think that's scary? You don't have to edit it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't. I'm glad I don't. Hey guys, and thanks for listening to the Kumi Soda Podcast number six. I am your host, Jacob Student, and today with me, I uh, have Twisty. Hey. And, uh, Pure. What's up, guys? Robo could not be here because he is in a party, but as you may have realized, we are all in the same room. Yeah, we Which are. They visited, they are visiting Kansas for today and tomorrow, and then they'll be out of here, and it'll be peaceful once again. Yep. All right, so let's start this off as we always do. Okay, not always, but you know what I'm saying. Let's see what you've been playing. Uh, I've been playing Halo Reach, uh, Just Cause 2, just a demo, not the actual game. I think it's fun. But uh, some Mono Warfare and some Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, and we played some games today, too, didn't we? Oh, uh, <laughs> Soul Calibur 4. Four. And Dig and Doug. Dig Doug. Dig Doug. Yeah, that game. And, and Castle Crashers. Castle Crashers, which I got an uh, Avatar what, Award for that, which is pretty cool. And what game did you just play about an hour of? Oh, Bakugan. Yeah. yeah. It was fun, actually. I'm going to talk a bit more about that in my section. Because it's been only about three months since we've done one of these. Yeah. So I think we'll have our own little Christmas section near the end of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, um,. Because if it was between then and now, it would be around 20 games that I would have to talk about. Uh, so, Pierre, as yeah. you're getting murdered, what, what game are you playing right now? I'm playing Assassin's Creed. The first one? first one? Yeah. So, other than Assassin's Creed, what have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing Red Dead Redemption a lot. I mean, On Dead Nightmare? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's Give me a second game. when I'm not being killed. I'll talk to you All right, you're not getting killed anymore. What you been doing? <laughs> um, I've been mostly playing uh, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Um, <laughs> and um, I've played a little bit of Oblivion <laughs> lately. Um, kind of got a little away from that, but getting there. Yeah. All right. As for I. I have been... What uh, have you been doing, Chase? Uh, thank you. Good. We didn't even rehearse that. I, um... I rented from Redbox Skyrim. So I finally got to try that after her. You and Robo bugging the crap out of me to play it. Finally did. It's okay. It, for me personally, I'd say it's a rent game. Every... For maybe like a week. And... Yeah. Um, other than that, uh, there's a ton that I'm going to have to do for the Christmas section. Uh, but recently, Bakugan, which I'm giving to you guys because... Um, so you don't play it anymore. I don't, I'm not going to play it anymore because I 100 percented it. It's one of those games that you pick up. I'd say it's a rent, probably, for two or three days, 100 percent it, give it back. I'm giving it to you guys so maybe you can sell it later to get a better game. Um, and then Time Shift. Yeah, here. <laughs> then Time Shift. No. Um, what? No, not Time Shift. I'm saying no to Gears of War. So. Uh, uh, I know Gears isn't everyone's type no. of game, but I like it. It's definitely a pure game. <laughs> yeah, it's not my kind of game. I don't like it. That's, that's okay. Um, but... But Time Shift, which uh, I would say to everyone out here who has a Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 to pick up this game, because on the Xbox it's three bucks and on PS3 it's five bucks, and it's a it's a good game, <laughs> and we need more people playing online. So is that all we've been playing? I know me and Pure play a little bit of horror mode here. And if anybody doesn't know what Horde Mode is, it's Gears of War, just saying. Yeah, Gears of War 2. Yeah, 2. Most people would know. Um, uh, anything else anyone wants to talk about? Uh, f- um, no. Okay. <laughs> well, then we're going to...
take a very short break and then we will come back with a new segment called The Fizz. Alright, we're back with the uh, with the Fizz, and today on the Fizz, what it's going to be is we're going to basically tell you stuff you can do gaming related that may have not been so apparent to you. So today we're going to tell you how to change your theme ever since the Xbox Live dashboard update, because they've changed it. Instead of doing it how you used to be able to, now you have to go to social and go to your avatar and press A, and then change theme will be there. And tw uh, now Twisty's going to tell you how to um, grab themes from your computer and uh, get pictures from there and change your theme to those. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to, if you have a laptop, uh, grab it, and if you have like certain picture on there you want to have as your background, just take a USB cord and put one end into the, your computer or laptop and the other end into your uh, Xbox. And it'll ask you to choose a file to what picture you want when you're in to change your theme. So you click on that file and you go down to which one you want. And if you want to click many, it'll just save them to your memory on your Xbox. So there you go, actually. That's simple and easy. So. All right. That's basically what the Fizz is going to be in the future, just quick uh, tips. So uh, we're going to take another very short break, and we'll be back with the news and no wait <laughs> we'll be back with uh news and releases start off with news. Uh, we have four news stories today. First one is GameStop will be ending GameCube trade-ins on April 2nd. So if you have your GameCube lying around and you haven't been using it uh, in many years or months uh, and you don't think you're going to use it in the future or if you have a Wii, simply go to GameStop, make sure you have your controllers and your adapter and trade them all in and Maybe towards a pre-order for the Wii U. Um, other than that, there is, if it will load, Prey 2 has reportedly been cancelled. Prey was this game that came out about five years ago. Uh, it was a, I don't know much about it, but um, it wasn't a big game, but it was... It was an overhyped game, and because of that, when people played it, and it wasn't living up to the hype, uh, it was slightly bad reviewed, and uh, people were hoping with Prey 2 it would get better, but it seems that it's, um, they were having some problems and that they just could not fix, and so it seems that it has been cancelled. I was actually kind of hoping for this, even though I haven't played the original. And in another losing news, Bioshock movie loses another director. Uh, this film, truthfully, I have played through all of Bioshock, and I can see how it would be good as a movie if they take some of the stuff out of the game, like some of the useless uh, questing stuff. But, uh, who was it? Juan Carlos Frens Fres Fresnal, but how do you pronounce that? <laughs> Juan Carlos Fresnadillo. Fresnadillo. Fres 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 Juan Carlos Fresnadillo uh, dropped out. 
uh, looks like he did 28 days later and intact. Uh, the Bioshock film was announced in 2008 with Verbinski attached to direct production. Uh, attached to direct, but uh, production was halted the following year due to concerns over the project's uh, $160 million bud dollar budget. So he clarified the film's fate last year, revealing that the Bioshock movie's budget would not be approved for PG-13. Uh, for a PG-13 movie to take on uh, that, uh, the bio the budget for Bioshock would only create up to a PG-13 movie on the material. And if you have played Bioshock, yeah. it is an R. It would have to be an R-rated movie. Yeah. So. I just playing the demo. Yeah. So, kind of sad, because, honestly, there are some good movie games out there, and this definitely could have been one of them, but, uh, I don't think he can come back to this, uh, bounce back from this. Um, and in the term of good news, instead of something getting taken away, we were getting something new, uh, Microsoft has announced... Arcade Next. It is going to be the most anticipated Xbox Live Arcade games uh, heading to Xbox from Microsoft Studios and Xbox Live. Beginning on April 18th, a new downloadable title will launch on Xbox Live Arcade from Microsoft Studios every Wednesday through May 9th. Um, also in April, uh, I guess this is new to the podcast, but not really to everyone else. Um, they will be upgrading the gamer points allowed in, um, game, uh, arcade games up to 400 gamer score and 30 achievements. I've told you about this twice. <laughs> uh, um, so the list of games that will be coming out is it starts out on April 18th with Trials Evolution. For 1,200 Microsoft points. It's not a motocross game. It's the side-scroll motocross game, yeah. Uh, have you guys tried out Trials HD? You should download the trial. It's a pretty good game. Download the trial for Trials. Um, on April 15th will be Blood Forge. Uh, I've not heard of this, but it seems to be a... Uh, and they're free? What? And they're free? No, these are... I'm saying the prices. Uh, this will be 1,200 points. I've not heard much on this, uh, so I'm not going to... Fable Heroes on May 2nd, uh, if you're a fan of Fable or uh, Hack and Slash games, uh, pick it up for 800 Microsoft points. And then lastly, one that I've been excited for, Robo has been excited for, I hope you guys will be excited for it, they have finally announced it. The date is Minecraft, the Xbox 360 uh, edition, on May 9th for 1600 Microsoft points. That's 20 bucks, but it's 30 bucks on PC. Mm. Um, and it is worth it. <laughs> um, so I will be looking forward to Trials and Minecraft. And if I ever get into Fable, I'll be looking forward to that. I don't know anything about Blood Forge. So that is news. So now we shall go into releases. Um, what do you guys think we should talk about first? Xbox, PlayStation. Mm, I'd say we Xbox for last. <coughs> Movies. Movies. All right. So, uh, also new today, we will be um, adding in movies to our releases. Uh, so, here's the movies. So, Twisty. Uh, oh, please. Uh, announce the movies, and uh, if you know anything on them, maybe give us some information on them. Um, a few of these I do know some information on them, but some of them I don't. Um, there's The Last Day on Earth. Uh, I don't know when that's coming out. It doesn't have a date. Uh, no. Uh, it's uh, March 23rd is when it's coming out. Today. Yeah. Uh, day of recording. Um, all in the poker movie. Uh, this release date is April 13th. Oh, uh, it's New York and L.A. Oh. It's, no, it's a New York and L.A. release. 
it will be officially out well, uh, nationwide on April 13th. Uh, the other one is the Deep Blue Sea, also out March 23rd. All these are going to be out March 23rd. Uh, in New York and L.A. Yeah. Uh, the Hunger Games, which is out, it comes out tonight, which I do recommend going and see. But if you haven't read the book yet, I'd strongly insist you guys read the book first. Uh, <clears throat> Losing Control, Musical Chairs. Uh, uh, Losing Control is in New York, and Musical Chairs is in New York and L.A. nationwide March 30th. Uh, October Baby, and The Raid Redemption, The Trouble with Bliss. Is that all of them? And... Yeah, and uh, the Trouble with Bliss is in New York City and VOD. I don't know what that is. I think that's a specific theater in New York and L.A. Oh, no. I think it's either All In the Poker Movie is nationwide and will come to New York and L.A. in April 13th, or it comes out in April 13th nationwide. Uh, musical chairs March 30th for either New York and LA or nationwide and then trouble with bliss on March 30th in either New York uh, in New York City and LA or nationwide okay uh, uh, all right so and uh, now we're going to do PC releases and we have quite a few, so uh, let's see, uh, we have Yesterday, a original and dark thriller adventure game from Pindolo Studios, never heard of it, Total War Shogun 2, Follow the Samurai, okay, Lucent Hearts Stadia, it's a, it is the second major expansion to Lucent Hearts, YS, or Y's, the Oath and Felgaham, uh, Felgaham, uh, I don't know anything on that. Um, Waveform, it's a unique action game about controlling a wave of light. Uh, Kingdoms of Emlar Reckoning, The Legend of Dead Kel. Uh, I think this may be either... Either Kingdoms of Emlar is coming out today, or this is a expansion. Uh, Creep TD is a tower defense game from uh, Futinity Games. Foul Space is a space adventure where a heroic rooster sets out to destroy the sun. And last, uh, not last one, and Actune Panzer, or Actune Panzer, Panzer. Operation Star, it's a war game from Matrix Games and Crabtium. And lastly, and I saved this for last because I know everyone who hears this is going to want to go out and get this. Angry Birds Space. So Angry Space. Birds has now gone orbital. To be an astronaut, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um, they too will be on the moon. So next, uh, PES3. I'm good. One small step for bird kind, one giant step for angry birds. Okay, so for PS3, we have Resident Evil, Operation Raccoon City, Armor Core 5, Ninja Gaiden 3, Silent Hill HD Collection, Warriors of Rogue 3 HD, and Kingdoms of MLR Reckoning. <laughs> How you do it? The Legend of Dead Cow. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, that's all for PS3. Um, let's do... Should I do XBLA, then 3DS, then Xbox? Okay. So, next, um, I'm going to quickly read off the deals of the week, and then what's coming out on Xbox Live Arcade. So, we have... The, the THQ sale from March 20th to the March 22nd. Uh, this includes a ri wide range of games coming from Hopefront, <coughs> Red Faction on Kitten, Saints Row 2, uh, Warhammer 40k, Space Marine, uh, You Don't Know Jack, Apples to Apples, Costume Quest, 
uh, stacking. Um, Voltron, Kung Fu Panda, and Kung Fu Panda 2. Then for the gold exclu exclusive deal of the week, uh, from, the, from for the same date, uh, they are um, Bioshock Big Daddy helmet, uh, an outfit, and Big Sister outfit. The projector trials, uh, Sinclair Solution Tester Pack, Rapture Metro Pack, and Miner Minerva's Den. Uh, and then on the releases, we have uh, one more deal of the week from March 27th to April 2nd will be it's the it's all about speed pack which is Forza DLC Joe Danger uh, Daytona USA will be 50% off and Sega Rally Online Arcade will be 50% off and then there will be a Games on Demand sale from March 27th to April 2nd, up to 30% off. Um, then, um, the Xbox Live Arcade releases um, both games on the March of March 21st. For 1,200 points, uh, Sign Mora, I don't know anything about that. And then for 800 points, Raymond 3. Pick up this game if you have the money. Uh, I've played Raymond 2 and the demo for Raymond Origins. Uh, they are both awesome games. And then we have game add-ons, which are uh, some big ones. Uh, let's go for the 20th of March. We have Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City Nemesis Mode, uh, Kingdoms of Amar, Reckoning, Legend of Dead Kel. Uh, so I was right on it being an expansion. And Saints Row the Third, The Trouble with Clones. And lastly, a big one for all Call of Duty players who were smart and didn't pay 50 bucks for Elite is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Collection 1 which has all the map packs and uh, spec out missions that have come out for Elite members so far. Then on the 27th we have the Gears of War 3 Forces of Nature map pack and on the 28th one that I think you guys would be happy with if you ever picked up the game Worms Ultimate Mayhem Customization Add-on for 400. Get that yeah. One more thing, I need, or two more things I need to read off is games coming on to Games on Demand, which will be Deus Ex Human Revolution on the 20th of March and Connect Sports on the 20th of March. Then on the 27th is Two Worlds 2 and Gears of War 3. Now, for Gears of War, uh, Deus Ex, and Two Worlds, I would imagine they will be at least 4,000 points, which is 50 bucks. And Connect Sports is probably around there. And lastly is the Avatar stuff. Uh, on the 20th of March is the Modern Warfare 3 collection update and the Dance Moves collection. Then on the 27th is Trials Evolution, Adidas Original Original 4 collection, Zoo Animals, I hope they have a zebra, and uh, another Halo update. So, more Halo stuff on the way. I think we're still hoping for the shotgun, but I think we all know that might not happen due to the gun restriction. Uh, it, but they did get the Needler, so maybe. Um, that's all for XBLA. Now let's talk about 3DS. So, if anyone watches the... Uh Series or is listening to this and knows that I truly love the shotguns. Howdy. There are two games coming out for the 3DS, right? For the 3DS. One of them is Zombie Slayer Diox. Uh, it's a rhythm action game with a side scrolling twist. And the big one is Kid Acre. Kid Acres Uprising. Kid Acres. Acres Uprising. Icarus, right? Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus. Uprising. Sorry. Uprising. <laughs> Uprising. There you go. I'll, I'll add that in. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this. It's the first Kid, uh, second Kid Icarus game. The first one was uh, on the Nintendo Entertainment System back in the late 80s, early 90s. So it's 
been about, tw- yeah, about 20 years since their last game. Wow. The last one was a side, not even a side scroller, it was a bird eye view game. Um, this one is actually going to be a third person shooter. I don't like that person that much. It it works for the handheld. Yeah, for the handheld, I agree. But for and then lastly, any other. Uh, Xbox. So and lastly on Xbox, um, a lot that we already announced. But Ninja Gaiden Three, which is a big game coming out. Uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, another big game. Armored Core Five, Silent Hill HD Collection. Connect Rush, a Disney Pixar adventure. Uh, Kingdoms of the... And we also have a game for... Uh, a list for indie games. So, uh, Ogre, Ogre's Fan... I farted with my fork and with my face. Ogre's Phantasm... <laughs> Fanta, Phantasm? Phantasm? Phantasm, yeah. Ogre's Phantasm Sword Quest. Zombie Run. Spoids. Picture puzzle, 20 games to play with your mates. I think that's a British game. And Super Ninja Warrior Extreme. So check out Super Ninja Warrior Extreme, because it's obviously got to be good. Um, so that's speed news and releases. Uh, so we're going to take a short break, and then once we come back, we're going to start with a, another new segment. Uh, called What's Poppin', where we talk about uh, game trailers and videos and movie trailers. trailers and game related videos so uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, the Halo 4 first look video Assassin's Creed 3 trailer, Borderlands 2 trailer, the Avengers trailer because Twisty Twisty really wants to talk about it, uh, Dark Shadow trailer and the Hunger Games we did mention the Hunger Games with the movies, but this is the trailer us talking about the trailer. Yes, uh, we have. I don't think any of us have seen the movie today. Uh, I don't know. None of us. How many of you guys have? Uh, which have you both read the book? Uh, I started reading it. You started reading it. Have you? I uh, probably won't. Okay. I encourage people to read the book, but I probably won't. All right. Let's first start talking about the Halo Four first look uh, video. Now, I saw this when it came out, and then. About a week after, I showed it to Pierre, and then you just saw it today. Just yeah, before. I did. Wait, what video? Halo 4. The first look video. I almost said Halo 3, but we're yeah. talking about that. So, uh, what are your guys' views on it? Uh, I think it actually looked really cool. Um, I like the new Master Chief armor, if that's what they're going to go with. It's a little different than some of the ones they had in the old games, like Halo 3 or Halo 2 or Halo 1. But I think it's going to work well. I didn't play. <laughs> but I, I played it a little bit, but Halo anniversary. Yeah, and uh, but I, I think it's gonna work. Some of the things I wish, I hope that they're gonna have is I know it's gonna be. They say it's gonna be bigger and better, and I hope that they stay with that. But I hope they bring back some of the old stuff from Halo Reach. Like you have to buy your armor, not just certain armor. You have to have like like buy Halo, it, not unlock it. Buy like it Halo Three, they yeah. had it unlock it. I didn't like that at all. And I know Three for Three is gonna do everything they can to make it fun for the players so um, I'm interested to see how it all plays out with the enemies they're going to have uh, I don't know if they're going to bring back old ones or bring new ones in they said they actually talked about this a bit um, not in the trailer but as a release of where the Covenant won't be there but they're a minor threat compared to what you're going to be fighting yeah, they say that uh, they're trying to come up with enemies that are bigger and badder than anything Master Chief has faced before, so... And truthfully, 
I think I know what they are. Pure, do you think you know what they are? Uh, to me, I think there's got to be something with the forerunners. Right. Um, and I've been, uh, reading the newer books. I think the last one I... I haven't read Glasslands or whichever one just came out. Um, I think it's Primordium. Either that's the one I just finished or the one that's... So I'm talking about Halo. Yeah, uh, Halo Cryptum. That's the one I just read. Um, and yeah, I agree that it has to do with the Forerunners. Uh, I forget. Whatever enemy that the Forerunners face, because they're facing the Flood Yeah. in the book. Um, but there's one enemy that at the end of Cryptum you see that it might definitely be uh, that species. Um, yeah, I'm... In terms of gameplay, they need to keep the sniper rifle. Yes. I think they know this. Uh, they need to... Uh, they've said they're going to have perks, per se. Um, so kind of like the armor abilities... Um, probably replacing our rare abilities. Uh, they, I think they need to keep jetpack, but yeah. they need to make it a longer... They could make it, longer. you know, like... Well, they may keep it in terms of equipment. Yeah. Like, you may actually have to go and pick up a jetpack. Yeah. Um, but I hope it's not the time things where you have limited time on it. I hope it's, like, used to... You stay probably there. still will. Yeah. Or they'll have a fuel thing, so you can use it for as long as the fuel is there. Um... Oh. They need to bring back the SMGs. Yeah. I thought they were. Uh, they haven't announced. They're bringing back the battle rifle. I don't know. I'm not. You're not a big fan of it. Robo will be. Um, I'm kind of fitty-fitty on it. Um, I hope they keep the energy swords even that Well, they, they're probably They should will. make dual energy swords, to be honest. I think they should. Yeah, and that was the next thing is at least make dual wielding a gameplay option. Like, I can understand if, like, in ranked matches they keep it out, yeah. but at least make it so we could do, like, a special game type called du Dual Slayer or something. Uh -huh. And I hope they also bring in katanas. Yes. For I, I hope they bring back the katana to put on your armor. Cause it, I honestly at least that. that. At least that, yeah. I mean, like, uh, when we were, I know this has nothing to do with it, but... When we were playing all Halo 3 together, we always talked about the next game they're going to bring back katanas and you're going to be able to use the katanas. We always thought that's going to happen in Halo Reach. It never did happen. So I hope people actually do put it in the next game. Right. That would be really cool because the one, the one thing we actually did talk about a lot when we were playing Halo 3 was that. Was the katanas. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, that was like, you know, the big thing for us. So. <laughs> you know, screw Master Chief, screw yeah. all the aliens. We just want... We want we, the katana. We want katana. Yeah. Uh, but honestly, I, I do hope that they make it interesting, a lot more interesting. And also, I think my views on the, like, vehicles and stuff. Yeah. The Rocket Hog was okay. The Rocket Hog was from Halo 1. They brought it back in Halo Reach. I liked it, but it was okay. I mean... It really didn't need to, but, I mean, it, it's good on multiplayer matchmaking where you can have, like... A lot better in Halo 1, where it was more like a Gauss Hog, but with rockets. Yeah. Uh, but they... I think they need to make a new Warthog, because some of them people are already getting used to, and finding some glitches for them. I think they need to, you know, get new ones. I keep saying this, and I'm going to say this till the end. They need a Hook Hog. Where all you do is you shoot, you shoot the hook. A, a hook, yeah. and it goes through like a wall or something, and that way you could just like, let's say there's a tree and then there's an edge, you shoot the hook into the tree, you drive, you then drive up the wall and you come back up. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> I like, know that's never like, gonna happen. Shoot like, <laughs> shoot up to the mountain and then you can like drive yeah. straight up the mountain. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> We've been playing too much just cause. <laughs> yeah. I, no, that's not from just. I think that's uh, they. That would be cool if they'd actually put that in there. Yeah. Uh, right. Another thing I think they should put in there would be a boat. A boat. A boat. Yeah, yeah, like a driving one. That a you lot can of people have been saying that into the water because they need to make. I mean, 
Some of the other games you play, like Battlefield. Uh, Battlefield, you can go in the water. You can and not die. Even if that's for two. Halo, you need to. I mean, you need to go in the water. Sometimes you need to go in there, but I think because they put a in, a, a dead zone or whatever it's called in there is because people will go in there and be cheap. Yeah. But they certain to think. If they, I mean, it makes sense. It slightly makes more sense in Halo because you're wearing a heavy suit of armor. Yeah. But at the same time, boats weigh tons. Yeah. So what they need to do is. Maybe make a <laughs> kind of uh, what are, you know floaty wings. Floaty wings. <laughs> floaty wings for the Spartans. Uh, come on! I mean, we got we throw someone in with rock uh, center box on their feet. They got a life vest and floaty wings. They'll stay up. Yeah. They'll stay up. Why ain't Spartans got no life vests? Four year old can swim. <laughs> Spartan can't swim. Uh, uh, but like, I think they need to they need to bring back the scorpion. Scor- uh, yeah, well, it's always been in. Hey? Yeah, I know, but I mean, if they're gonna they bring- need to keep it. Yeah. Uh, my thing is, they need to make it just a tad bit faster because sometimes it gets confusing in Halo Reach because you're trying to drive. Because with the controllers, it's like you drive and you have to turn with this. Sometimes there's, you get there's, there's six pedals, but only four directions. Yeah. Famous red versus blue quote. Yeah. All right. Um, Pierre, you want to talk any? Because we kind of <laughs> No? Not on Halo? Okay. Uh, I actually would like to talk more about Halo, like some of the stuff that I wish to see. Uh, more. In my opinion, in my opinion I, I know it's just me because I love... Just you know, I love Nottis, okay? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they need to keep. I would like it if they had kept assassination, but I'd also like it if you were able to fight with them. It looks, from the style that they've shown, it looks like they're keeping assassinations. Um, but you're saying like, uh, kind of like a energy sword, but a knife. The energy. They had energy daggers, but for assassinations. So you're basically saying combat knife. But I think I think they're not going to do that because it's, it'll be it's too there, much like I mean, other games. Yeah. I mean, if it's there on your on your <laughs> on your chest, why can't you use it? Exactly. I mean, I mean, I know that you can use it for an assassination. But at the but same, time, at the same time, there's a katana there in Halo Three. Why can't you use the katana? <laughs> but okay, don't back back mouth Bungie. We were fans of them for a while. So. We were fans of them until about Reach. Reach yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you know, things happen. But we still were fans, so don't back mouth them. Like here's that here's now. what I. See, the problem was Bungie focused on Reach yeah. without it, without much focus of the 343 guys. And the main director for 343 was Frank O'Connor, who also mainly wrote the past stories and the books. But since they didn't really have him on there, that's kind of yeah where it started going. But I hope... I, I, I want them to... Be able to, like, so you can customize your armor. That was cool in Halo Reach. That was new. Uh, the cust- it was kind of in beta for Halo 3. Yeah, but, I mean, you could customize it. I mean, you yeah. could customize the I mean, the color. You could do that. You can customize the, the helmet. color was in Halo 2. Yeah. But well, well, color was in Halo 1. Emblems was in Halo 2. Armor was in Halo 3. But, I and one other, I'm going off subject, but another thing they need to have is more choices for emblems. Because yeah. there's a lot that are cool in the new game, Reach, not new, but new to us, uh, that they, that it was good and all, but they need more, I think. Yeah. And one of the things that made everyone happy about Reach was, oh, they can update, and they can add more armor, they can add more emblems, they can add more even armor abilities. That never happened. They All they did was add rank, and they... That was predetermined anyway. Yeah. They just increased the cap. So, Reach was Bungie's final Halo game for at least 10 years. Unless they get out of their contract with Activision. But, uh, he's telling you to go back and pick up the flag. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I'm both happy and glad that they are gone. Uh, I'm, er, <laughs> I'm, 
I'm happy and angry that it was their final game. I'm happy because now they're gone and they can't damage the Payo franchise anymore in terms of story. Uh, but I'm angry that they they did damage it. Well, I, I'm angry because I bought the Bungie shirt and I started wearing it on my avatar and then they like switched and I hated them so I had to buy the 3 for 3 shirt. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Well, he wasted 80 points. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, I can't get that back now. But, uh, okay, I was saying something about the knives. When, <laughs> if you're going to, if they're going to come back with the knives, then I do hope that you can use them just a little bit on certain missions on campaign. Nothing in multiplayer, just in campaign. I'd say, i say they need to, I know people don't like copying, but it's bound to happen. Yeah. i say they need to go with the Modern Warfare route. Yeah. Of where you're, it's basically... It's not the throwing knife. But, like, like, melee with it. Yeah. Melee with it, yeah. Ooh, you just gave me a cool idea. Like, uh, for instead of grenade, throwing knife. Yeah. No. Um, I doubt they'd ever do that for Halo. I don't think so, no. But, they, uh, but when you have your knife on your chest like this, and no matter what color you change your armor, you that never changes. It's always that color. It's always either a black or kind of an army greenish color it's always that color I think they need to change that so you can change a color of the knife yeah in terms of well what I've been saying for a while is they either need to A make it so you can change the color of each armor specification individually or B have the two primary and secondary colors but be able to switch what uh, armor set uses what because personally my favorite shoulders in reach are the ODST shoulders but they're on the primary color. Yeah. I can't switch it to the secondary color. And blue on blue doesn't look good. Blue on gold will look good. And if I had gold, I would always use the ODST shoulders. Yeah. But I have to compromise for a different pair because I can't switch You look like color. a turtle in Halo Reach. I look like a turtle, yes. We yeah. all look like animals. I look like a turtle. When we had our first like armor. You, you more or less look like a bull now than yeah. a... I look like monkey. a I look like a gorilla when I was like a monkey more when yeah. I was yeah. And Robo was a duck. And pure as a globe. Globe, yeah. All right, oh, let's get off of Halo. Yeah, that was like you know a thirty minute thing. <laughs> let's talk about Assassin's Creed Three. No, yes. I'm out of that. You guys talk about that. Yeah, Torsi's not a. You don't hate Assassin's Creed, right? I don't hate it. I'm just no, I don't play it as much fan. as you guys. Well, I'm just giving I'm giving you guys the first one. I'm assuming you either have the second or can borrow the second. So. We can. We've already played it. So I'd say play the first one if you're... Are you a story gamer? Uh, honestly, I don't care really. Sometimes, sometimes it bores me. Sometimes it's pretty cool. Okay. Like Halo Reach, like sometimes it took me a long time to get done with the missions, but there's sometimes we're pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I think that's... What Part of the reason I don't like Skyrim is because it doesn't focus on story too much. Yeah. I mean, it has a story, but it's, it's hard like, to follow. It's so hard to pay attention because you have everything else going on with it. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're on Skyrim. Let's... No. No. <laughs> it's not as great. It's not as great. Um, <laughs> so, Twisty, I know you don't want to talk about it, but you've only played the second one and Brotherhood a bit. Right? Yeah, just a little bit, though. And so you're not a big fan of the story? Not really. From seeing the trailer, what do you think of it? Uh, I I think it looks pretty good, um, but all the all the trailer is is some guy in newer looking clothing and different time, but same moves and same everything. Except he has a bow on, like a bow with arrows and stuff. That's new. Because I didn't see that in any other games, but it, it looks the same movement and everything as, like, if you put all three of the, uh, except for Revelation and Brotherhood, they're out of this. They're not talking about that. The first two. But I'm talking about the first two. If you put them up, they would look the same. I mean, when, and mm, it's... One, it has to be one and Assassin's Creed 2 had very many differences. But in terms of graphics, they all had the the same ending. I mean, they'd want they'd be standing on a ledge, a rock, or something, looking out on something. I mean, that's was in, in the terms third of the one. Trailer? Yeah, on the third one yeah, and the second one and the first one. Except, well, the Assassin's Creed one and two trailer did look very similar. Like the first one, you witness it. it 
execution and then you kill a dude. Yeah. And then the second one, you have a group go to a party and you kill the whole group. Yeah. Well, actually, that's pretty different. But it's like the same style. Yeah. The same style, same movement, same everything. And Brotherhood changed that. Yeah. And then but it's same... But everybody sees the the trailer, and that's what I don't like, because the trailer does not speak for the game. Because the game is so different than the trailer. Um, in terms of Assassin's Creed 1, I would say yes. In terms of 2, that it's the trailer for Assassin's Creed 2 is more like the game than yeah. the other ones. But, uh, like, Brotherhood was not even close. It was the same... It, it all came from Assassin's Creed 1 because that was the first game, first and everything. They copied everything from that and they just kept all the same movements. You didn't have to learn anything different. And that, you know, sometimes it's cool to learn new things for our different you, games. You, but have, other you played, than, have you played one? All yeah, the way through? No. I played. Just like the first yeah, probably the first three missions, something There's, like that. There, well, this is one. Yeah. Okay. Well, um. I can tell you the differences from Assassin's Creed 1 to 2 and from 2 to Brotherhood. Uh, you get dual wielding, so quote unquote dual, wheel, dual wielding in Assassin's Creed 2. And you also get uh, a pistol. Yeah. The pistol does, I would say, come to handy. In all but I, I honestly. I think it's basically just the same storyline, just keeping it going. Same story. But and sometimes I think it, they're almost pushing it too far that sometimes it doesn't make sense. Because in two, a little bit of it, well, I'm like, <laughs> what ending, are you yeah, talking? Everyone about? at the ending was like, what? The hell? Yeah, well, I mean, but I like that because I, I watched a show called Doctor Who. Everyone else probably knows what it is, but it's it, it reminded me of that, of where you know you're kind of in this mock. As if that was on the other side. Like, you're in this modern day era, and yeah, everything's fine, and then all of a sudden, holy crap, aliens. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> and, and to, to me, personally, I, I love the Assassin's Creed story. story. I mean, I am one of the things I like. I like new games that have great graphics, but I also like, you know, it not being... I like first person shooters. I do. Um... But I also like those games where you can go back in time. You don't have to be in the middle of aliens blow up crap. You don't want to let you can go back in time. You never know there could be aliens in the old time, too. Yeah. I mean, you know, Assassin's Creed have, have you had... Seen an alien on here? Assassin, yes. Assass Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin, yeah, Assassin's Creed. Where? The, yeah, the aliens right there. Yeah, Assassin's Creed you know, has, you know, like, put a lot of stuff in there that sometimes does not make sense. And that's what confuses me. Okay, this... That was more by the way, spoilers... But uh, in Assassin's Creed, oh, at, sorry, the end, at the end, the whole theory of it is that the gods and goddesses are aliens. And that's actually based on the modern day theory that, you know, Ra and all these people that the Egyptians have seen, and, you know, through all those pictographs, they think that they've been seeing flying saucers and all yeah. that stuff, and they hailed those. Possibly, truthfully, Thousands of years ago, maybe. Have they landed? Who knows? Uh, who knows? We we could all be from Mars. I'd still say that's a strong theory. That's, <laughs> uh, you never know. There's ice on Mars. I, I looked at one of my favorite planets the other day on an iPhone. It had a view in there. I was looking at your phones. Pluto. Pluto. Uh, favorite moon. Fa no, oh, sorry. Favorite planet. Favorite planet. No, favorite moon. Moon. Not a, planet. a moon. You never know. I mean, it looks. It almost looks like almost identical to Earth. I mean, seriously. It, I mean, the picture. It was like blue green stuff like that, and then Earth blue green. You know, white stuff like well, that. Well, that's the color of the planet. That's not water. I know, Pluto but, have water. but Pluto's not even considered a planet. They blew it up. They what? Uh, that's what I heard. They blew it up. Yeah, they uh, destroyed it. Like a few years ago. It's not a planet anymore because it was stripped away by something. Yeah, someone, they, the NASA said it was stripped away by something. It's they, gone, blew it up. The, the 
classification of it being a planet was stripped away and it turned into a moon. It wasn't hit by anything, I don't think. Uh, so I, that but I know there was a planet a while back. There was a blue planet a while back um, that they discovered recently, from what I remember, that did implode. Yeah. That I... Let's see, I learned about that back in, like, 2001, oh. and then, like, six months later after I read about that, uh, that's when I read Planet Expl- Implodes. Hmm. I'm like, I've seen that planet before. <laughs> okay, back on topic. Back on topic, Assassin's Creed. Yeah. <laughs> we went from Assassin's Creed to Imploding planet. Planets. Yeah, Imploding Planets. Um, if, if no one knows what my favorite planet is, you know. Uranus. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a moon, so... What, Pluto? Moon. <laughs> the moon. Yeah, the moon. Luna. The half moon thing. Luna. Luna. That is the term, that is the name for the moon. Is Luna. I like Uranus. I'm you kidding. would like I like Pluto. Yeah, or Saturn. Pluto. I'd Saturn. Jupiter. Jupiter. Because I used to live on Jupiter. Boys go to Jupiter. Yeah. Did you guys... I don't remember that. Yeah, we lived on Jupiter Drive. And <laughs> what's cool is you go down the road. It was literally, we lived in planets. Across from us was Mars. And you go down the road, and there was Mercury. And there was also Blue Star around. I road. lived on Pine. Pine? Was Oak near there? No. No. Yes. Yeah, really? so, but, like, it's funny. What was I going to say? Uh, <laughs> we went from Assassin's Creed to Street. What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Uh, uh, oh, no. You've never heard the saying, uh, what was it? Oh, Canada. No, it was like, like, boys go to Jupiter oh, to get boy. more stupider. Girls go to Mars. To no, it was a different Mars. version in, uh, it was a different version in Virginia. It's, uh, I glitched. It was, a wall. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to patch that. You need to go online so you can download the patch. But no, in Virginia, at least in Virginia, it was uh, guy, uh, guys are from, I think it was boys are from Ju- Mars or something. I don't remember where guys were from, but it was, and girls are from girls Venus. No, gir- girls are from Venus, guys are from Mars. Yeah, That's why it's different stupid parts. I don't know. Something like that. I always heard it was like... Uh, it's different for each area. It was like girls or boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Yeah. Hey, did Someone, you ever hear about walking down the street and you see a piece of meat? No. Walking I, down the street and you see a piece of meat? Diarrhea. No. Nah. <laughs> I was, I, every time we played, we were in gym, I was like, I was saying we will rock you, shock you, pick you up, and drop you, flush you down the toilet, hope you enjoy it. Did you guys have the Spanish effect What's of that? where you always had to one up in, in numbers in Spanish? Yeah. That's how everyone learned how to say up to seven. Like, you know, everyone always knows Unos Dos Tres. One guy has to come into the school and be like, yeah, well, here's four. Cinco. And then it's like, yeah, well, here's five, says, And then this other guy comes in and ones up them both by saying six and seven, which is... I don't uh, I think Cinco is five, actually. Uno dos tres. Uno dos tres. Cinco, cinco, seis, siete. I thought it was cuatro. No, it does. Cuatro, cuatro, I believe is... Uno dos cuatro, cinco, seis. Uno dos tres, cuatro, cinco. Cuatro. Cuatro, cinco, seis, nueve. No, not Nieve. Nieve. Nie- Nieve is nine. Die- uh, and and Dia- Dias, Dias I don't know. is ten. Okay. Ocho is eight. <laughs> How do you get on Spanish? <laughs> we went from Assassin's Creed to Spanish. school system to Spanish. Wow. So basically all I wanted to say about Assassin's Creed 3 is it's in the revolutionary times. Yeah. Uh, the American Revolution. Uh, 1777. I... That is the only history I remember from school, so I will actually be a big fan of this, and I will see if they get it right. I mean, from the trailer, I know this from listening to the Major Nelson podcast, The you know the guy who was given the speech? Yes. He was famous for actually having a high-pitched voice, so they already kind of ruined it a bit there, but I mean, you're going to have to 
when you think when you think of you know a strong speech you don't care uh, he's drunk but what's funny is is how like a bunch of the Assassin's Creed game is like all in Spain and stuff and like that and then you go to like the war and stuff the revolutionary war and it's like Okay, be yeah, they, they, Well, yeah, well, it's 1500s, so within 200 years, a lot of people from Spain and England were on the boats that came over to America. So, yeah. possibly the assassins, we don't know. They could like have been hitting on, on they could have been hiding on, like, the bottom under the water. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome if you do, like, a uh, modern warfare type mission at the beginning, like, you know how they always have the submarine mission? Yeah. You just do that in Assassin's Creed, it's like, put on this barrel and you go into the barrel and you're holding on to the bottom of a boat and it's like 400 days later. <laughs> and you have like a grown beard and then you have an octopus on your head. <laughs> yeah, squid on your head. Hey, Jellyfish on your chin. Jellyfish. Uh, okay, let's go. What are we doing? Okay, uh, we need to like, move on. Next, Borderlands 2. I'm not talking about that. I don't know much about it. So. You saw the trailer, right? Yeah. Basically, all we had to say is 96.5 more Wobble. That's all we had to say. It's Borderlands 2. It's... If you like Borderlands, if you like first-person shooters, or if you like RPGs, if you don't like Borderlands 2. So, that's all... I, I guess that's all we had to say. You want to say anything, Pierre? More Wobble? Um, yeah. Wobble. Wobble. Okay. Uh, all right, now into the movies. The Avengers. Okay, I'll talk about the Avengers. <laughs> okay, the Avengers. And if none of you have kept up with any of the Iron Mans, the Thor, Captain America... I still haven't seen those two. I will not ruin them for you. I've seen Iron Man. Uh, if Iron Man, Iron Man 2, or Hulk. Captain America, Hulk, I don't think Hulk's going to... Hulk, Hulk is going to be in there for just uh, probably a few little parts, um, but I don't know if he'll be in there the whole time. And I think, are they having Green Arrow, or is that Marvel? No, actually, that's not Green Arrow. It's, that's Marvel, oh. right? No, no I think they have Green Arrow is actually in DC. Yeah. Who they're actually having is a man Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye. I know Hawkeye. But, okay, um... It's going to be, at all the movies, they're probably going to do for Hulk like they did for uh, Wolverine in the, uh, what was it called? First Class. X-Men First Class. I just was in there like one little bit. I don't know yet. It just I haven't spins. seen First Class either. Is it a good movie? I think it's a good movie, yeah. Okay. Uh, but back to Avengers. Avengers in there is going to be, you're going to have Thor, Captain America, uh, Iron, Iron Man, Hulk. Hulk, uh, Black, Hawkeye, Black, Black Widow, uh, Steel Guy. Iron Man? No. Uh, War Machine? No. Ste oh, um. Steel. Sar not Sergeant. The guy with the eye patch. Yeah, the guy with the eye patch. <laughs> oh, Scar. Not Scar. No. Is it Scar? No. Uh, Steel. Um, and if a bunch of you haven't seen. I'm not going to give all the characters, because if you guys haven't seen Thor, I don't want to, like, burn, like, ruin it for you guys. Because there is a guy on there that I did not expect to see, but he's in there. So you guys will just have to wait and see. Um, Neo from Matrix is going to be in there. Uh, Superman, Batman, Batman's always going to be in there. No uh, And they, they said no Robin, no Robin, so that's why they got Nightwing. Um, that one's not going to be in there. Oh, and, and Black Cat is going to be in there for Marvel. <laughs> it's DC. <laughs> I know. Spider-Man. Spider-Man is going to be in there. Spider-Man's Marvel. I know. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. Uh, Avengers is Marvel, though. Uh, Static Shock is going to be in there. <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Static Shock could be in there, actually. I mean, maybe not as a main character, but as a side character. Yeah, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I don't Do have you guys remember Static Shock? Yeah. Do you remember Static Shock? Yeah. That was the only superhero thing I really watched growing up. Mm -hmm. I watched too much UPN growing Static up. Static Shock, I remember it now. The purple guy. Yellow. Blue, blue and yellow guy. Purple and yellow guy. Blue. blue. You, you can Google it later. But they do with the electric disc. He had the disc and he would fly around. Yeah, purple and yellow. 
That's his colors. That's Pretty sure it's blue, but okay. That's what everybody said on the TV show, and I watched it too. It's purple and yellow. Okay, okay. It's, it's been a while since I've seen it. Yes, and they took it off. Alright. Uh, was that on it? the Avengers? And by the way, I was joking. Yeah. I don't stuff. I, w- I would want to see Stack Shot or Nightwing. Yeah, but they're, they've been keeping Batman and Superman away from the Avengers because uh, they're in Justice League, and they're in DC because they're different companies. DC and Marvel. Yeah, but Iron Man is DC. No, it's, no, it's not. It's, not, it's Marvel. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so we want to be seeing Stack Shot. He's DC. Yeah, he's DC. Because um, like we they, might see, then we might see some Spider Man. Maybe Spider Man's Marvel. Yeah, so we might see maybe not Spider Man, Spider Man. We might be seeing like we. I don't know if we'll see Spider Man because they're all coming out with a new Spider Man movie. Which I'm. So I don't know if we're gonna see Spider Man. It's too soon to <laughs> talk about. I know, but I'm just saying I don't think we'll see Spider Man since they're coming out with a new movie. Well, I'm saying maybe as not as Spider Man as uh, Peter, not Petrelli. I always want to say Peter Petrelli. Peter, Peter Parker. Heroes. Peter Parker. You know, maybe just him, like, walking down the street. Yeah, or, maybe, like, but... Delivering pizza. Maybe. I mean, but if if they do that, then the same character they have in that movie, they're going to have to have in the next movie. Because and, and we have to... Uh, I watched the uh, 2003 Hulk a while ago, and I noticed that Stan Lee was in there. Yeah, there are always... In every single and and um, the previous Hulk, the, um, Lou Ferrigno. Who was the previous Hulk? They're they're gonna have a new guy for the Hulk. I know. I think is it the guy from um, the latest Hulk movie? No. no, no. They're having a brand new Hulk. Okay. Um, but in every Marvel movie, Stanley is always in the Fantastic Four. Both of those, Iron Man, he was in. Uh, Iron Man. I don't remember. Or, no. I, the only one I don't remember seeing him. In the, oh, never mind. Wait, Wait Fantastic I Four? I thought Fantastic Four was DC. Marvel. Marvel. They're just in their own Fantastic Four. But right. But so, again, are. look for maybe a special guest appearance. I mean, it's the Avengers, which yeah. means it's going to be a, the main Marvel group. Yeah. So, even if you don't... Even if they're not a main part, you might see some new... Uh, some of the people from you know, Fantastic Four. Maybe. They're going to be rebooting Fantastic Four. Yeah. So, they may be debuting the... Newer characters. Yeah. Right. Um, but, yeah, he, Stan Lee will be in the Avengers movie. I can, Most guarantee, likely. I can guarantee it because he's, he's, the, a, he's the guy they have to save. He's <laughs> always he's <laughs> always been in the he's been in the Hulk movie, Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Spider Man. I've seen him in Iron Man. He's in Iron Man. He was, was, it, was, he was in the, Iron Man two. Was he the guy on the track? I think so. In Iron Man one, he was he was Hef as Playboy when he when. Oh. Iron Man went to... I thought that was the actual guy. <laughs> no. That was uh, that was Stanley. Right. Um, and he's been in all the movies. He's been in uh, X-Men. He's been in... Uh, all the, he's been in the Hulk. I don't know if he's been in the Hulk movie, the he first in, one. He was in the 2003 one. He was a security... Uh, he was a security guard... Uh, and so was Lou Ferrigno, and they were coming out. It was, he was three in, seconds. He was in the last one too, because he was the one. He was that guy that drank the. Uh, have you seen the second one? No, nah, but you can say. I'll, I'll he, see. He was the guy when because uh, okay. Bruce uh, cut his finger. Yeah. And it fell into a glass bottle that they were making, and it went to a guy's house, and he drank it, and it gave him a really big buzz, and that was Stanley. <laughs> so I drank it. So. Stanley. It's funny. I he, like he, good writer. I I want to see him doing his own acting for I stuff. Think. All right, enough on the Avengers. Next, uh, one that's probably not as big as a hit, but it keeps up the uh, Tim Burton Johnny Depp ness is a uh, Dark Shadow. Uh, I I think that'd be a good movie actually because yeah I just don't think it's gonna be a long lasting movie like Edward Scissorhands or um, uh-uh. can't even remember the name of the other one Hollow Hollow or Pirates of the Caribbean Pirates of the Caribbean was in Tim Burton it's oh. Disney well it's Disney and well, Tim yeah. Burton does stuff for Disney like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas but usually when he does stuff for Disney 
um, not usually with Johnny Depp. Yeah. Except maybe, I'm not sure if Alice in Wonderland was. Uh, Which, by the way, that was Tim Burton. That was Disney. That was? Okay. Yeah, yeah, because... So, sometimes. Or Tim, because the Alice in Wonderland's always been Disney. I think. Okay. Well, yes. it's definitely Tim Burton that did the last one. Yeah. Um, I like the last one, by the way. Okay, but uh, the movie that's going to come out, it's going to come out in May 11th, okay. around my birthday. Uh, I want to go see it, but I don't know if I will. Is the Avengers coming out? May something. May May 11th or the week before? The w- Either week before or week after. I think week before because they announced it earlier than uh, I don't That know. would be the I think May, May 4th. 4th. Yeah, I think May 4th. Good, because my brother's birthday, my brother is big on these. He's seen all of these movies that so go into yeah. it. Uh, not Robo. Uh, if we ever get him on, uh, we had him on the h Rose podcast one, uh, Shane. Um, he, his birthday is May 5th, so we'll probably do that for his birthday. Yeah. Sorry, getting off topic. Dark Shadow, funny um, movie. I think it would be a good movie, actually. Uh, Johnny Depp gonna make it funny actually he has a unique way of making things funny yeah kind of um, like how um jim carrey yeah uh you know you don't really focus on the story too much and there's types of like it explains the humor a bit but you know you're watching it for them um sorry uh but uh, some if you go and see it with your parents, they might not like it at first since it's all darkness and witches and stuff like that, vampires. But trust me, it'll get funnier. Uh, it starts off on a serious note. There is a f- like from the trailer. Trailer. There are a few parts that maybe be inappropriate for kids, but yeah, as Chase said, or hiccups. Yeah, sorry, I don't know what I'm going to use. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, but. There are a few parts that may be inappropriate, but, I mean, they're quick, and they're not going to show anything. <laughs> they're not going to show anything, though. They're just going to be, like, usual, but... Like, fire, and then fade to the left, and then come back. That was uh, All right, um... So, lastly, one that's big, but I'm seeing this as the next Twilight series... Uh, where on the terms of the next Harry Potter series, I see more Percy Jackson, is The Hunger Games. I have not read the book. As you said, Pure, you're starting it. Twisty, you haven't read it, but you advise people to read it. I advise people to read it because I had an English teacher that was going to make us read it, but I moved schools. I thank God for that. (laughs) Because, uh, but... She always advised us to read it because she always she always told us they're gonna come out with the movie they're going to come out with the movie and yeah. I've already read it so you, you guys are gonna have to yeah uh, and she was right yeah and I advise you guys to read it because you never know what will happen my mom wants to see it because it's been highly advertised but again I'm seeing this as the next Twilight series same and I I mean because Harry Potter's done Twilight is going to be done soon thank. Uh, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, uh, I really, I don't. I'm, I'm sad that Harry Potter's over. I'm, I'm glad because it, uh, it, it started, it had a middle, and it ended. It didn't go to so far to the point that it would break everything we saw, like Star yeah. Wars. Yeah. Like, well, for everyone else, Star Wars. I personally like the first and second oh, episode absolutely. one and two. Third was kind of confusing. Though. It was hilarious. It was hilarious at the dialogue. <laughs> and then I still haven't seen uh, all of the episode four, five, or six. I've seen four, five, and six. I, I've but seen them, but not all the way through. But four, I always thought four, five, and six were <laughs> four, but then I actually, you know, realized. They, they, yeah, it's like, wait, episode four, five, six, but released earlier. <laughs> okay, so we went from Hunger Games to Star Wars. Oh, I'll move it. Okay. So, Hunger Games. Hunger Games. I do like the idea of... That they're showing. Because it's not, like, pure romance. 
You know, yeah. it, there's an actual story there. It's not just flashy vampires. Yeah. <laughs> so, spoilers, yeah, spoiler-ish, it's basically what you'll see from the trailer or read on the back of the book, I'd assume, uh, on the summary. The Hunger Games is, in the future, uh, the government, something, some sort of war you said here? Yeah, there's like a rebellion. Blah, blah, blah. Ants come, take up the world. No, more like a government starts taking their food. It's basically the same kind of like rebellion and they get rebellion. Please stop that. So basically, um, what it is, sorry, Twisty was moving the mic. So basically, what you're saying is. Uh, there was war, government took over, and now... And now, uh, this is like from the first few pages, because I haven't read the whole book yet. Right. Um, basically, um, they... Focus. There, there used to be 13 districts. 13 districts. Now there's only district 12. Nine. Not District 12. What about we, 9? We root for District 9. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. <laughs> uh, you know District, district 12 is where the main character pretty much lives. And they're... I'd assume they're probably afraid that their district may get lost next. No, um, District 13 actually kind of rebelled. And that's why... Uh, they were destroyed. That basically is what happened. Okay. They were killed, um, shot in the head, or something District 13 like that. is pretty much, I mean, the District 12 is the, um... Remnants. It's like, it's basically a laughing stock right now. Uh-huh. And the mayor knows that. Right. Uh, and that's who you see in the, in the beginning. When in he's the talking, trailer. Welcome to the Hunger Games. And yeah. But what I want to know is, like in the Hunger Games movie, it looks like the like in when the trailer is showing, it looks like they're about to start a ballet tournament. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's what, it, so. that's what it looks like. It looks like I mean, they're putting the leotards on. It's like, and then she says, "I'm winning. I'm doing this for my sister," or something like that. Um, what happens is, is, her sister actually gets called for the Hunger Games. She, she says she's volunteering. Yeah. And then, um, but. Then the girl that volunteers is what is the sister. Is, is, is the is the older sister. Right. So basically, sister gets um sister gets picked. Uh, other bigger sister doesn't want this to happen, so she volunteers. So her little sister doesn't have to do it. Yeah, because her sister's only twelve. Twelve-year-olds can own people. Have you never played on Xbox? <laughs> They, I hope they come up with the Hunger Games online, so that could literally be the uh, or Hunger Games for Xbox. So that could be the case of where twelve-year-olds are literally playing online. <laughs> uh-huh. They need to come out. They came out with a game on it, addictinggames.com. I don't know if it's an actual game. I haven't played. It. I think it's just like a brain buster. Flash game. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, would you say that's all? Yeah. That okay. is all for the what's popping. You would think that would be the end of the podcast, wouldn't you? Yeah. It's not. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to have our Christmas discussion. Yikes. And uh, then we'll have our exit, (laughs) and we'll take a short break. or second to last segment depending on whether or not we choose to do another break for exit nah it is goes all through special segment of Christmas talks oh we started alright yeah oh. hi <laughs> it's been recording this whole time by the way. Oh, we got our opening and exit probably um so 
The last podcast we did was around 22nd, I think, which was the Popcast Awards. Oh, yeah. So, oh, now I remember that. Yeah. The Popocast Awards. So, basically, what we're going to talk about, what we got for oh. Christmas, or what games we've gotten in between, or played in between you know, Christmas and now. I'm going to wait to play years until we do Uh, who wants to go first? I have a long list, so I could either go first and then we end on two, no offense, two shorter lists, or we could do two shorter lists and end on a long list. Okay. Which one? You go first. Alright. Okay, so for Christmas, I got uh, 20, I got 20 bucks, that's upstairs, I got 20 bucks, uh, 10 on GameStop card at ten dollars, and then a friend gave me twenty bucks in GameStop card. I got four dollars, so I had forty dollars, and I bought two twenty dollar cards with that. With that, I bought Portal, um, Sonic the Hedgehog three, Sonic Adventures with the DX uh, download. And Full House Poker, those were on deals. And then I think I had enough to get Call of Duty 4 <laughs> along with that. So I got Call of Duty 4. Um, and uh, recently I have earned uh, all achievements in Call of Duty 4. Yay me. I'm bragging again. I don't do it intentionally. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I okay, so so. Uh, I'm, just, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, but for my birthday, er, <laughs> for my birthday, no, my birthday is next month. Hint, hint. Um, no, for for Christmas, I got Halo Anniversary, and I have since beaten that. I haven't 100 percented it yet. Uh, I need a secondary partner, but it is awesome, tastic. Uh, Halo anniversary. <laughs> Twisty just snorted some chocolate chip cookies. Ah, yeah, that's how I roll. Okay, that's good. Uh, you notice people actually do snort drinks. And stuff. Mm. It's weird. Um, the problem with snorting that stuff is it goes directly to your brain. Yeah. So you're gonna have a chocolate brain. Chocolate brain. <laughs> brain child. Have you ever heard of the song Chocolate Rain? Yeah. Have yeah. you ever heard the song called Purple Rain? Purple, Purple Rain. Rain? No. Purple Rain. No, that's not. That's not it. What am I thinking of? Uh, the one by Prince. No, not by Prince. The one by Jimmy Hendrix. I have no clue. Purple Haze is what I'm thinking of. Now we're on songs. No. Yeah, Halo cool. Anniversary. Um, I see the right. I loved Halo 1. It was the best story, in my opinion, because it wasn't all action, like, it was kind of B movie ish. Like, if we don't do this, then the world as we know it will be destroyed, and that kind of stuff. And, you know, they weren't trying to be full on serious. They were keeping it kind of B movie. And then in Halo Two and later on, they started making it more serious, which is good turn for them. Um, but it was my favorite overall. And because of also I, the PC one had multiplayer, so Halo Anniversary is not my new favorite. The Halo PC is still my favorite. Hoping Halo Four takes that title, but um, very very good. Call of Duty very good. Portal still alive is the one I got. It's Portal One with some new maps. Uh, I'd say if you ever have fifteen bucks or if it goes on sale again, just get it. Wait, these are all the games you got for Christmas? No, these are the games. And I got 40 bucks, so I also bought some. Uh, Full House Poker, I would advise against unless you always have Wi Fi connection. Games do you buy? Uh, I'm just Full House Poker, I would uh, say, unless you always have an Xbox Live connection, don't get it because it requires an Xbox Live connection at all times. Sonic 3, if you love Sonic games, get it. Um, and Sonic. Um, Adventures, I'd say get an older version for GameCube, or the if you ha- actually have a Dreamcast around, get that version. Uh, 
Not that this one's bad, it's just a lot of the glitches show more, and it hasn't aged too well. It was a game that came out in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, that's all I got with the Christmas money and at Christmas. Uh, since then, I ran Skyrim. I bought uh, ODST, Halo 3. Uh, I've rented those before. My friend gave me Halo 2. I think I mentioned that a while back. Yeah. Um, so my Halo collection is complete until Halo 4. Uh, Once again, is Halo 4, aren't they coming out on the new Xbox? That was my theory, is that the Halo 4 was going to be coming out with a new Xbox. They have said no, Halo 4 is going to be 360. But they, what I'm saying now is they may be... Um, Twilight Princess House. Uh, you remember Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii? Yeah, please. That was a GameCube Wii title. So it, it was the last GameCube Legend of Zelda and the first Wii Legend of Zelda. If there was any game that would do that for Microsoft, it would be Halo. So I could see that definitely happening. Because we all saw the first look stuff, right? Yeah. So you saw, like... Master Chief in their demo test looking back and forth in the water closet. Yeah. It looks good. But does it look finished? No. I'm thinking that might be the Xbox 360 version. Finished. And that they'll have a higher resolution and all of that for the next one. Because I've also been listening to the 343 podcast. And they're, they've been like, you can play the story from front to back. But there's so much polishing and all the stuff we have to put into it that's left to do. And I'm th with me thinking this, it might be, well, the 360 version front to back is done. Yeah. Now we need to make the next one. Yeah, but I'm still hoping that they keep it Xbox related, not any other. No, no. Like Microsoft they, owns it. Like they can't move it to any No. Other. That was the worry with um, Halo 1, and they did make a Mac version of Halo 1. Halo was originally going to be, be a Mac game. Um, it was going to be an RTS, and then it was going to be a third-person shooter. Uh, and then it became a first-person shooter. You guys should really see the... Because um, I think they did it at a like, Mac World event. Mm -hmm. You should really see the original trailer uh, It's uh, that came out in 99. It's pretty good. The first game came out in 2001. Wow. Um... But yeah, and then Halo 2, Microsoft still didn't own the Halo franchise. But with the Bungie leaving uh, after Halo 3, leaving Microsoft, yeah. and buying themselves back, part of the deal was Halo became Microsoft's. Yeah. So, never have to worry about that unless Microsoft Games goes under or sells the Halo franchise, which they will not do for Halo 4, 5, or 6, which they have announced 5 and 6. How they're making a new more, trilogy. Three more games. Yeah. At least. And I think we all know they're probably going to do another ODST style. And I think we all know there's going to be... Not ODST. ODST style of a side game. And the, they haven't announced it, but everyone knows that there's going to be a Halo Wars 2. It's very highly rumored to be on the Kinect. Which I would... As an RTS game, imagine this. I'm, for people listening... I'm bringing up my hands. Imagine, like, swiping over this squad, or putting my hand over this squad, grabbing them, pulling them, and push, pushing in, telling my squad to go over here. Yeah. That could work. That could. But a first-person shooter could not. And a lot of people were saying, Halo, connect. And I'm like, that would never work, because uh, I've been talking about this way too much. I can see. <laughs> um, then I've recently bought Gears War 1 and 2. Um, Are you offline? Yeah. And uh, I've 100% bought Battlefield 943. I just recently bought. LA. I've just recently bought Bakugan and Time Shift and Marvel West Ultra. I 100% Bakugan and I'm giving you guys that game. Which Austin won't play it, I will. He, he'll play it, just not tonight. 
Play what? Fucking gone. Oh, yeah. Uh, time shift I'm not giving them, and Marvel Blast Ultra is awesome. If you have a GameStop near you, buy it. Um, oh, and Crackdown. I was going to give you guys that game, but Robo has it right now. Sorry, I know I'm taking too long. Uh, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, I got TMT 1989 for Robo for his birthday. We got, we still need to play that four player. Um, can, we, can, we, can we say what we got for like Christmas? We only got one thing Xbox related. I know, just which is Connect. So that's about it. So. Okay, so you guys got Connect for Christmas with what? Connect Adventures and Sports, I think. Okay, so I've played Connect Adventures. Awesome, buddy. It, it just kept, it just got Connect Adventures and uh, oh. Child of Eden or Child of Eden. Yeah, I don't like that very much. Really. Have you played it on, with the Xbox controller? No. Try it with the Xbox controller. People say that it, uh, you'll like it one way or the other. You're gonna like it. But if you don't like it the, this oh, way, play it the other way. Um, did you guys bring Child of Eden? No. Uh, it's downloaded to our Xbox. Oh, okay. So, um, so just Connect, Connect Sports, and Connect Adventures. Connect Adventures is a very fun game. I, I like it. One night, uh, we were at this group meeting that I'm not a part of, but I still had to go. And so we had this TV set up with the Xbox and the new Connect with Connect Ventures. We had it for about three days. Um, the meeting was three hours, three and a half hours long. Mm-hmm. It took us about ten minutes to set it up and about twenty minutes to disconnect everything and pack up and leave. Within that three hour time span, I was playing Connect Adventures. <laughs> um, needless to say, I couldn't get up in the morning. Uh, my legs were so sore. And then that afternoon, when I finally got up, I went to the living room where the Kinect was set up and played another hour of Kinect Adventures. <laughs> so, oh, I connected with you. that shows how good that game is. It's the Wii Sports of, of Xbox instead of Kinect Sports. Um, that I played the demo for, I'd say that's more towards arcade style of games yeah. rather than just fun. Yeah. Exercise stuff. So that's all we've gotten for Christmas. What have you gotten in between uh, December and now? Like, what have you played? Like, Oblivion. Uh, yeah. Um, Skyrim. Skyrim. You haven't gotten that. You're, that's your, the next game you want to get, right? I want to get it, but to be honest, I got, I rented it, and I thought I couldn't live without it, and I didn't figured out I could, so I might rent it just a lot. Good, (laughs) good. Because that's how a lot of people are with World of Warcraft, is they're like, this is my life now. Yeah, and it's like, you never want that to happen with a game. Wait, World of Warcraft, didn't I play that? Yeah, you played the trial of that. Did you like it? I liked it, I don't know. Pure, didn't you play it a bit as well? Yeah. Did you like it? It but, okay. like, I only liked it because Robo, like, explained it to me. Because when I got on, but he never got on again until we could play. Okay. I played the oh. free trial a while back. I hated that thing. I played it for an hour. I got up to level four. I was killing wolves, and I'm like, no. Just no. No. <laughs> no. It, yeah, you got it, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when you can't figure I it think out. I think it's the... Robo's going to listen to this, and he's going to go... I think it's a party game. Like, yeah. you know, if all four of us got on, then it would be If good. all four of us had just, like, a, a whole time playing that, just, like, yeah. you know, a day. Like, all that, fun that would be us. There's, there's some games that are boring by yourself, but are party games. Like, Castle Crashers, good party game. Halo Online, kind of. Or Halo Campaign. Um... You know, stuff like that. So, I guess that's all. Alright. Uh, on a final note, and I know I'm saying this towards the end, and if you have stuck with us, thank you. But Team Soda, Episode 8 has been delayed. That includes the rest of the episodes. I'm going to um, Due to uh, school, I have also applied for a job, so 
possibly work and just basic lifeness. So, um... So basically, all our episodes have gotten delayed because of this little thing we like to call life. Yeah, freaking life, man. Yeah. Um, if... If I was getting paid for it, I would probably focus on it more. Yeah. Episode A is fine. It's everything's five bucks. It's I would pay you, but I'm broke. Everything's there. I just need to connect everything. And all the episodes after eight are either we have everything or just a few things left to do. Except the final episode, we still need to do everything except for right that. Um, but yeah. We hope to release that soon. We will be releasing a weekly video, info video, whether or not we're going to do it or not. Uh, so, let's see, what's today, Friday? Yeah. So, tomorrow, Saturday? 23rd, yeah. So, uh, this will be our video for s tomorrow. Uh, thank you for <laughs> listening. Um, I have been your host, oh Hiccups, dude. Lord. If you're any last words... Nothing or any nice. <laughs> Christy, any last words? No, just play some video games, have some fun. Eat some cookies, drink some rum. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Just what? Nothing. I'm high. I'm high. Chase is high. He's not I say high. high. He's not high. 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 Now we get to go upstairs. All right, now, uh, thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi. Bye. Uh, bye. Bye. Say bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna do one thing real quick. Call Robo and make him think that it's the start of the podcast. <clears throat> you might be at a party. I know. Well, it's ten. I think they're back. It is too new. Right. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Austin, help. It's not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey. hey. New message from Marlboro. Busy. Um... Okay, hold on. It's still leaving a message, by the way. Uh, hi, Robo. Hi, <laughs> Robo. So, Robo says he's busy. I replied with, ew. Uh, we, okay, yeah, so, I, Robo, um, we're leaving about two, so you bring your phone over here. Uh, he's not going to be able to. He's going to stick over there. But care. he'll be able to get online. I don't care. He doesn't care. Robo, they want you over here. Let's stop doing the dancing. Even though we're having a lot of fun with Chase, and I mean that with everything I'm saying right now, we're having a lot of fun with Chase, it's not the same without Robo here. I know, I'm a horrible host. No. Please, we need the entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> All right.